I know they're out here. We got Sassy from a shelter. I'd recommend anybody who wants a dog you should get it from a shelter. A shelter dog at home. That was Jack. Hey guys! Oh, 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 yes, oh, oh, okay, down, down, down. Alright, down, girl, down, woo. Oh, she gets very excited. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's very fast. Sassy is a shepherd collie. And you can see she's dug holes. That's part of the shepherd. Um, they... This is... Jack is the uh, black and tan. Yeah! <laughs> He's a very good boy. Especially now since we got sassy. He used to bite a lot. Um, really all what he needed was a companion to, you know, kind of mother him in a way. And there she goes with her digging. And he follows. She does her job very well. I mean, she uh, seems seems to be fearful of certain things. Um, if she doesn't trust a person, she will let us know. She growls. She doesn't bite. Uh, she's a little bit of a jumper, and she'll try to push you down sometimes. But uh, she's very, very well behaved. Um, as for him, he's been very well behaved since we got her. She's put him in his place, and yeah. I noticed another thing about her though, she doesn't seem to like pits, uh, pit bulls. Uh, I, I don't know why, I, I she used to be a street dog. She they, The Anna Shelter picked her up off the streets, so I don't know if she had a bad encounter with them, that specific breed, but she does not seem to like them at all. Uh, she seems to go nuts when she sees them. Um, she's not a very big fan. I can't say that I'm a big fan of the dog either, but, uh, I, I do think that, you know, if you take care of the dog properly, they will make a great companion. It's, it's the people that make them bad, not the dog. And it's very sad for that, but, um... She kind of stood out when we were looking up at, for another dog because Jack was carrying on so badly. So. But she's always alert. And some people say she looks like a big fox. Uh, she looks a little wolfy in the face when she plays with Jack. Jack looks like a bear when he plays and he knows I'm talking about him. That's why he's looking over here. But Jack, um, he is five months old, and I'd say he weighs a good 50 pounds. She is, uh, sassy there, she's about two to three years old. She's not going to grow any bigger. But Jack's going to keep growing. He'll be over 100 pounds. Um, he, the black and tan coonhound, they're an excellent breed. If trained properly, they can be a little stubborn. But he is very smart. Very smart. He picks up on tricks very quickly. And they... Hey, 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 don't eat, don't you eat that. No. Jack. I don't want to come back here in the dirt. Jack. Yeah, you better... Yeah. You be a good boy. You be a good boy. What are you eating? Quit eating garbage. You know better than that. Um, yeah, be a good boy. They get themselves dirty out here all the time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to show off his tricks, but it, he, he, he ain't gonna do it unless I have treats, and that's hard for me to do the tricks with him and film it at the same time. So maybe I'll try to get somebody to help me out with that. Uh, as for if you're looking for a black and tan like that. If you're up north, good luck. 
we had to get him from down south. He is a very southern dog. Um, so if you live down south, I'm sure you've heard of this breed, probably seen plenty of them, but if you live up north like I do, you don't see this dog hardly at all. And if you do see anything like him, they're usually not purebred. He is a pure purebred. We got him from Arkansas. He cost us almost a thousand dollars. That was for the traveling and the neutering and everything. So that was all included. Um, we were thinking about letting him stay intact. Let let him uh, over whatever. We were thinking about breeding over here, but um, that kind of didn't happen. Um, because, you know, breeding dogs is, it, it's easy to breed them, but it's hard to get them homes, you know? So, unless you, d stop eating that, you goofball! No, no, come on, stop eating that, no, no. You know what, you know what? That's your own problem. You don't listen to me, do you? I don't like to fight with him over it. Hey, 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 hey! No! My feet are gonna get dirty! So are my new shoes! Just got these! You are so crazy! Aren't you? Yeah! What are you, what are you doing? He likes to take off his shoes sometimes and... I, I don't know, I need you guys' opinion. I don't know if you can see that. But there is a lump on his side. It was soft and it was a lot bigger. It seemed to shrink, but it's getting hard. And he's got a vet appointment, but I was wondering if any of you guys could, you know, tell me what you think it is. Because I don't know. We think it might be a spider bite, but we can't really determine that. I had a spider bite and my hand swelled up, so that's why we thought maybe that's it. Uh, we're hoping that nobody hurt him. Because I ain't having that. Nobody, nobody gonna be hurting my dogs like that. Jack, that is a pool toy. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? You, and you shouldn't be scratching. You, you, you had your flea treatment. You need your ears cleaned out every day, and you don't like it, do you? Crazy dog. He. He's nuts. But we love him anyway. It, you should have seen him when he was smaller. I, I think we still got that. I think it's still got the video up of him when he was smaller. But he is sweet when he wants to be. He doesn't mouth us too much anymore. And when he does, it's very gentle. And as you can see, you look at his collar. We just got that like a week ago. And it's already dirty. That harness used to be a nice bright red at one point, too, and, well, he decided to roll around in the dirt. But, him, he's only five months old right now, and, um, for those of you who don't know what it's like to have a puppy, I'll tell you this, at six months, make sure you have lots of chew toys that are appropriate. Look at that, look at that. Two toys that are appropriate um, for him, or her, whatever gender puppy you got, but uh, because it's six months, that's when they start teething, and they will chew up anything they can. So you want to keep your stuff up away from them. Really high up away from them. Her, she chews anyway, but she does not chew ch shoes or anything, so she's good for that. But if she finds something soft like that toy there, she'll chew it up. She doesn't eat it. Jack will probably try to eat it. Um, coon hounds like that, he, they like to eat all the time. All the time. They'll eat anything. They'll eat all day long if you allow them to. We call him Hungry Jack. He used to be called Jack the Ripper because he used to rip up newspaper. And his, uh, obviously his name is Jack. So, um, And if he, if he tries to get out of the yard, he's going to be a flat Jack. But, 
Stop eating random things. Why can't you be more like sassy and relax? Now, if I, if I, no, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm going to try to walk towards the door. And uh, see, look at this, look at this. He knows, he knows where I'm going. He knows exactly where I'm going, and he's going to watch me. So does she. She knows where I'm going too. So they're going to try to follow me indoors. They're they're working on it. See, he's he's going to try to follow me inside. Now they're not supposed to be in there, especially now because they're muddy. But that doesn't mean that they'll try. No, they won't try. And I have to hurry before they come get me. Oh, oh, too late. Oh, why? Why me? Don't look at me like that. You're muddy. You can't go in there. You can't go inside. I'm sorry. Don't give me that. You can't go in there. You're muddy. Mommy's going to have a fit, and you know that. Mommy will have a fit. She's already going to be mad because you got dirt in my shoes. Yeah. Oh, I know. You just got the freshest little face. But you got the most mud on you, honey. Him, you can't get in there. You, you you really can't. If you try to go in there with him, he's going to bully his way into the door. Now, if I wanted to, I could climb over the fence and go through the front, but I can't do that because I'm too fat. I'm too fat to go over the fence. Oh, don't bully on me now. Come on. Move. I mean it. I will. No, no. No, no. You, oh, you fat cow. Good. Stay over there. Crap. I still gotta walk around that door because then he can't get out from the bathroom. Yeah! <sighs> I hate dogs sometimes. Ugh. <sighs>